Live from Austin, Texas, at the tech gathering of the year. They call it Spring Break for Geeks. Rackspace, the open cloud company, presents The Scobalizer with the movers, the doers, shaking things up and impacting our world. Now, Robert Scoble, the open cloud experience. Hey, this is Robert Scoble, and you're uh, watching the uh, Rackspace Open Cloud Experience here from South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. It's a little rough this morning <laughs> as we were uh, partying with Path and Spotify. Thanks, Dave Moran, for the invite. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we're seeing a lot of cool startups today, uh, including some execs from some bigger companies today as well. But e come back every hour on the hour, and we'll uh, have a uh, a full day of uh, interviews. But today we are uh, having some fun and uh, let's get right into it. So who are you? I'm Chris Bradley and I'm the founder of Publicate and I'm also involved in Suitcase Startup as well. Very cool, and what is Publicate? Okay, so Publicate is all about promoting yourself online through content. Yep. And it doesn't matter whether that's content that you are consuming or whether it's content that you're creating. And really, it all came about because I was living out in Taiwan, um, and I was working for a large LCD manufacturer doing business development. And I'd gone around and I'd given quite a few mo keynote presentations, so I had some slide decks, I had some videos, and I'd done some market reports. And I kind of wanted to progress in my career. And I, at that point, I wasn't really on Twitter or, or, or on the social channels, but the social media marketing and content marketing was really starting to pick up. Yeah. So I looked to that. And what I found was that, that the content that I had, sharing it on those channels was quite fragmented. Um, and actually, it didn't really represent me online properly. So the, the, yep. the, the obvious solution would be a blog. But to have a blog, it's quite a lot of effort to maintain it and keep the content regular. I know. I yeah, yeah. Well, you're an expert. <laughs> it's, it? it's hard <laughs> to feed. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to feed every all of these channels. Because you know, when, when I started blogging, that's it. We had a yeah. blog. We didn't have Twitter. Yeah. We didn't have YouTube, we didn't have Foursquare, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Quora, we didn't have yeah. LinkedIn, you know, and, and all of these channels are hungry, yeah. right? LinkedIn just exactly. uh, signed me up as an influencer and there's going to be, I don't know, a million people listening to that yeah. and I don't even have time to do it. And yeah. it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And creating content is definitely one of the hardest things for people to do. Yeah. Um, so I was looking at it and I didn't create enough content to warrant maintaining a blog because yeah. it wasn't regular enough. But what I did do, and what a lot of other professionals do, is spend a lot of time consuming content. And I wanted somewhere online that I could use the content that I consumed and some of the content that I created when I did create it to really sort of showcase what my, my interests and my expertise online. So and this is like, like for a hybrid curator, uh, content creator? Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. It kinda, it's kind of sitting in the, the, the pinnacle of social curation, social publishing, and bookmarking. Yeah. It draws from, from all three of those elements. So how, how does uh, Publicate solve that? Okay, okay. so should we jump into yeah, the Yeah, let's see it. Work? Let's see it, because that'll give uh, everybody some context so we can talk more okay. about so the future of publishing in this new <laughs> world. Because it's, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting new world, and it keeps shifting all the time. Yeah, so. exactly. There's, there's, there's a, lo a lot of people trying to do a lot of things, and I think one of the where, where Publicate's strength lies is in the fact that it, it is the fact that you can bring in content from anywhere on the web and organize it in a way that can promote yourself better. Okay. Um, so, when you get into Publicate, so this is my profile, yeah. uh, and everyone has a visual profile. It's got all of the, 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 the standard, what you'd expect with a profile, like links to any websites or email or your, your social features. Um, but the essence of it is really in the collections. So it's all about promotion through organization and collections enable professionals to pull together content from anywhere and in any type as well. So yep. because professionals deal with a multitude of content like slide decks or uh, videos, podcasts, whatever it is, uh, Publicate makes it easy to pull it all together. <laughs> so we've started building a little collection of, of, of some of your content online. Um, we just started building a collection for some, some of your content last night. So like I was saying, it's, it's all types of content. So that's obviously an article that we've pulled in. Yep. Um, but then you can also embed videos as well. So Very nice. The, the so it's, and it's not algorithmically done, so it's not like a Rebel, uh, Rebel Mouse or uh, one of those No, we, 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 
a lot of people have said, like, is, is it automatic? And, yeah. and I've, I've specifically steered away from automation because I don't, I, the, the, the point of it is more for people to select things that they've seen value in and to build a, a, an information resource yeah. that is more accessible than social channels so that they can go back to it, but also so that other people can access it. Because I mean, yeah. if, if you had somewhere online throughout your entire career of every single piece of information that you found valuable, that would be incredibly valuable for you, but it would also be incredibly valuable for a lot of other people. And the benefit of this is that people are build it, can build that online resource, but it also helps to promote them and build their online presence as well. So it's kind of like we're giving them more value through what they're already doing online, which is consuming content. So, so in front of me at home, I have three screens, yeah. and I have Quora, Google+, my Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, Salesforce <laughs> Chatter, so I can chat yeah. with uh, Rackspace employees, um, and a few other places. Yeah. I, I read Tech Meme every morning and Hacker News every morning. Yeah. And so can I take links from any of those sources yes. and bring them in here? Yeah. So okay. uh, maybe I can give you a little bit of a demo there. <coughs> so that, that does go on to the whole essence of it is, is being able to pull in content. So you so just paste in a URL. Yeah, so we've got three ways of doing it. One is that you can paste in a URL. So if we go to this here, which is yeah. off your blog, we we'll just copy that, paste it right in there. Yeah. And what, what it does is it'll work out what content is on the page, and then you can select what you want. So you can collect it as an entire web page, you can collect the video or you can select one of the images. Yep, and collecting the entire page or the video makes sense. Yeah. But it's nice that you figured out it was a video. Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, can you choose to change the graphic that's going to represent that yes. item? Yeah, here. So, okay. so it's got the title in there. I can add some notes to it. Um, can add it to the collection. So let's add it to Robert Scoble collection. And that's a more appropriate icon. So Very cool. So that goes in there. And that is now in the collection. And now what you can also do is if, say if you wanted to collect multiple images, by clicking OK, you can go back and then keep collecting content, or you can go to publication. So that's one way. The other way is through a browser extension, yep. which if we hit that. So this is on another, another one of your articles. And actually, so you can get it as a web page. You can get the video. and. You can also select the audio. Oh, that's interesting because that was one single blog post yes. with four au audio interviews yeah, so and a video. video. That's audio. interesting that it could parse out that there was multiple people yeah. pieces of media on that. Yeah, exactly. Thing. So then you can just select the bits that you want because sometimes you'll be reading a blog and, and maybe the video is really interesting or actually the entire page. And we wanted to make it easy for people to, to select the bit that they want rather than having to, to collect the whole page. If, it, it <coughs> if there's multiple pictures, I can do the same thing on that? It'll parse the pictures as well? Yes, yes. Okay. So I think, uh, let me just hit that again. Nice, cool. So n once you get your collection done, yeah. what, how do people see it? Uh, is it? Do they have to come over to my collection to see it, or does it create a Twitter channel or a, a Facebook so feed? Or uh, Yeah, so it, it, it can automatically publish to Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. Um, and in all of the content as well. How about RSS? Does it have we an haven't, RSS? We haven't got that in yet, but okay. that, that kind of thing, the, some of the next things on the list are definitely the RSS and like subscribing to collections yeah. and also embedding collections on the blog because one of the things that it could be really useful for is if you're creating an article and you've got a load of, of reference resources, you could just bang that into a collection and stick oh, it in the nice. blog. Okay. Um, so th those are coming in the future. Um, how do you guys get paid? So <coughs> we've got, we're focusing on two revenue streams, so the, the subscription and featured content. Yeah. And subscription, instead of it just being a premium membership upgrade, we're actually going to be focusing on, on a specific solution, and that is between freelancers and small and medium enterprises and customers and yeah. the way that they collaborate around content, specifically in sort of like the marketer's creative space because there's a lot of information share that gets done through Dropbox and email and, it, and it's kind of fragmented. And we want to create project and customer boards that people can quite easily share information and have it well documented as this, this is a piece of content, this is the customer's feedback, this is the second version and, and so on and so on. So any kind of content that a customer and a company collaborate on will be in a nice 
visual space. No, that's really cool. Are you building a store of the best publicate channels or, or uh, collections? Yeah. Guess? Well, we with this, so so we've really been live for 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 eight weeks now with with the latest version um, and all those kind of things we we're, we're starting to bring in. We want to have like the top publicators, top collections, all that kind of stuff. And why why did you start? Oh, you you explained yeah, that why yeah. you got into this. Well, My brain is moving slow this morning. <laughs> 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 the, other, the other the other one I wanted to show you as well yeah. about how you can pull content in is with the through Twitter. So we've integrated with Twitter. Yeah. And it will show you all of the, the Twitter stream that you follow and it will visualize all your tweets. You can have yeah, a Yeah, that won't tweet. work for me cuz I'm following 38,000 people. It would, it would Yeah, that it'll probably can, be different. Can you aim it at a single Twitter list though? Yes. Because then it's more useful. Yeah. Cuz I have a list for instance of tech uh, um, influencers yeah. and it's a really high quality uh, list. It, um, that that's fun to follow and it doesn't move that fast. So um, we haven't integrated lists yet, but we have <coughs> got it so sort of favorite so that you can use it almost like as a bookmarking. So any tweet that you favorite will then be in, ah. in, in you can find in your list and then you can pull that in from there. Oh, cool! And you can actually also search Twitter as well. So I've just searched for you. All right. So these are all your tweets. Yep. Um, so say if I want to pull this one. <coughs> in, I'm sorry. Yep. So I think this is one that you. Uh, yeah, we we had a party last night, yeah. so I was taking pictures in line. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I, I can now pull that four square check in into Publicate and add it into your collection. Now, can you add a note to it and say why is this important? Yes. Because maybe you were in the picture, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> it's like, man, that was a great party. <laughs> yeah. So we, yeah, it's easy, easy to note, to add notes to it. Okay. Um, but what you can also do is add that to a new collection, which you can then choose a collection to add it into. So you can put collections inside a collection, so it becomes oh, like wow. it becomes like an online filing system for. All of your content, and, there, and again, that's kind of whether you've uploaded it yourself or whether you've. you've Ta found tell me it. about the company that you're building. I, uh, how is it funded, and uh, how many employees do you have? Okay, so we, <coughs> we, I raised some some seed funding right at the start um, mm -hmm. on some screen grabs from friends, family, and also two private investors that that I knew through my network, mm -hmm. um, and we've we've been running on that to get to this this point, and now we're going to be starting another round of financing. Company now consists of two developers. One head developer who's been coding since he was since he was eight and can code in like twenty languages professionally. So he's a bit of a beast. Yeah. Um, and another guy, Benny, who lives in Korea. Um, so they're both working on it full time. And more recently, Anastasia, um, she was working with Newspaper. She's joined onto Publicate as co-founder as well. So very cool. She's going to be heading up the whole marketing side and the communications, and that will give me some time to raise the next round of financing and, and focus on, on the product. And how? Uh, what's the infrastructure you chose to build this on? Uh, so so we actually built it on PHP. Okay, yeah. and what kind of, are, are you hosting it on servers? Or we, we are hosting it with Rackspace. Oh, very cool, and tell yeah. me what that's like. Amazing, we, so we were hosting it with, with another company and um, the developer has been incredibly impressed since we switched. The, the support level is phenomenal. Um, everything just runs. Uh, are you on the cloud or do you have your own server? No, no, we are, we're on the cloud. Excellent. The clouds, yeah. it's, it's, how is it performing? Fantastic. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, how, many, how many virtual servers do you have? Uh, two. Very cool. We're on two at the moment. Cause we're, cause only You're really, new. Yeah, exactly. I've only really been going for, like, properly pushing it for eight weeks. So, um, yeah, we're still still quite new. But growing, cool. growing quickly. Last, last uh, In the last four weeks, we've grown by 100%. Very cool. Yeah. Well, it's an interesting new uh, new way to collect things, and I think this is going to be a hot topic. I, I know Flipboard's working on something similar, but for iPad and yeah. on Android users. Yeah. How does this look on mobile, by the way? So we've we've got mobile responsive at the moment, and with the next round of financing, we're going to be we're going to be building out the apps because obviously yeah. web app first because it's more of a publishing platform and people are sitting at the desks a lot more. Um, but mobile is definitely. Definitely yeah, I want to do this kind of curation while I'm walking around. Yeah. It's hard to grab a URL, though. Off, you know, if you're reading Facebook in the Facebook app, it's hard to get a, a, an actual URL that yeah. you can copy and paste somewhere else. Yeah, you know? yeah. So that's so going to be a problem. Yeah, also. and what one of our one of our strategies is going to be integration. So quite similar to the guys at Buffer, they've done that really, really well. Yeah. 
and they've just integrated with a lot of platforms. Now that we've really got the product solid, that's what we're going to start doing, building some relationships and, and focusing on integration. Very cool. Where do we learn more about it? Uh, publicate.it. Dot .it. Dot so it. A, that's how you know it's a startup. <laughs> 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 so thank you so much for coming in and showing to me. I'm, I'm going to try it out because I'm looking to tools like this because yeah. I'm a, a huge reader of content. A lot of people think I, I only do the show, but yeah. on, on Facebook I have, t I don't know, 10 lists now of different um, groups. So yeah. I have a list of uh, entrepreneurs, a list of investors, a list of the press. Uh, yeah. you know, so I can see what the world is saying about the bleeding edge of tech, and I do the same thing on Twitter and Google yeah. Plus, and on Quora, I'm, I'm the top most followed person on Quora. So yeah, there's a lot of value there. That as I read the, during the morning, I'd like to be able to put it back out and collect it for people. So I would absolutely love it, it if you would if you could try our product out. I certainly will when I get home feedback. and get a, a little bit of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. <laughs> Bring on Thursday. Uh -huh. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks very much, Robert. And so uh, we're going to be doing these every few minutes, so usually on the half hour or hour. So please come back and uh, join us for another uh, interesting startup from the Rackspace Open Cloud experience. Uh, thanks for joining us. When Rackspace's live coverage from Austin continues, we'll show you the future in real time. Rackspace, backed by fanatical support, Bringing you live coverage from South by Southwest Daily. Hmm, so good, it hurts. The Open Cloud Experience.